even though I think Michael Cohen, the over under is three days on the stand, look for the prosecution to try to get in, get out as fast as they can. And really, maybe this might be a case where the defense's cross is longer than the direct. I, I've been speaking to Michael, and, and Michael's ready. Um, he's, this is, he's, this, a lot has been leading up to this. I remember sitting with him several times at Otisville and talking about this and talking about <clears throat> having his day in court. The day in court will, the, will help him. Um, one thing, you know, everybody's worried about Michael Cohen and how's he going to do and this and that. And I want to talk about his competency. You know, Donald Trump has been through how many lawyers during this trial and during the previous trials, dozens and dozens. Yet Michael was his personal lawyer for 10 years and held on to that job. He's very good at what he does. And he's also good at kind of, I think he's going to win over the jury. I think there's a likability factor to him that when you get to know him, you see him up close. And I think Michael's ready and, and uh, it's kind of very Shakespearean, but it's going to be fascinating to watch. Or, or encumber these assets anymore. They will then start to sell them off. These here commercial properties he is uh, two or three, for example, parking garage. Gets it because there's something mentally wrong with somebody who doesn't understand. The judge has had enough. He's messing with the rule. Going to take this. He is not going to just of this. And on top of that, you know, look, we're all sitting here and we're all watching every single day. Um. Michael Cohen keeps saying that he lied on Trump, Donald Trump's behalf. He, that is only true with respect to his lies to Congress. Right. He lied to the Justice Department. He lied to the IRS. He lied to banks. None of that was for Trump. All of it was for him. And after the uh, court decision you read, um, which was indeed favorable to Michael Cohen, a couple of months later, a federal judge concluded that he had perjured himself. So the whole story of Michael Cohen's credibility in, in history is more complicated than I think people even have the ability to process. That's why the whole thing is so stupid. And when you have somebody like a Laura Loomer, when you have somebody like that who has a significant size microphone or megaphone, it's kind of incumbent upon people who have that we'll call it volume of followers, to do at least, at least a monicum of homework before they decide to go think that they're protecting their Fuhrer. It's the cross that's gonna be the problem. And I don't know, anyone who's seen Michael Cohen on television, I mean, this is not a man who's terribly composed or um, I don't know, as, cognitively fluent as he would like to believe he is. I don't know. I don't have a nicer way to say it. Anyway, um, uh, he could easily be taken apart during cross-examination. And if he blows up, right, and starts railing against whoever and just going off the cuff, because he's going to be up there for hours, hours, potentially days on cross. Like, is he going to be able to hold it together? I don't know. He doesn't seem to me to have a lot of self-control. And every most of the key witnesses in the case have already dumped all over him before this. First and foremost, Donald doesn't need your protection. Right? You're kind of inconsequential. But now you just make him very much like the guy, little Johnny. You make yourself look stupid. And when I mean stupid, I mean like really fucking stupid. Right? Little Johnny Two Scoots. But I've never seen a witness who's lied to Congress, who's lied in court, who's lied to the IRS, who's lied to the Southern District of New York, who lied to his banker. Uh, you know, the entire prosecution witness team has been lied to by Michael Cohen. 10 o'clock again. Same bad time, same bad channel. See you then. So